All right, hello, welcome to the next retrospective. Uh, in this one, we're going to be covering Scrubbed, Night of the Egg Rolls, and CS lost $88 in ad revenue. So, uh, yeah, let's get started, I suppose. <laughs> Don't really have anything else to say in this intro. Scrubbed. This obviously is a YTP of the show Scrubs, which, based on the comments that I've got on this video, a surprising amount of you guys haven't watched, which is crazy to me. That's like not having ever watched... Um, not something that's like like hugely well known, but like pretty well known, you know, like like not SpongeBob level popularity, but more like Rugrats or something. Like that's is never having watched Scrubs is like never having watched Rugrats. Okay, that's just that's just that's just ridiculous. You should totally watch it because it's a very good show. Scrubs, I mean, Rugrats is good too. Oh yeah, that's the HD and Picolson intro that was uh, very kindly made by Salvadorio. I don't think this was the first video that I used it in. It was the first YouTube poop that I used it in, yeah. Yeah, and there... <laughs> that makes this my second YouTube poop of 2023 that begins with a character getting hit by a car. <laughs> I have to learn to play the banjo. Yeah, I, I did originally want to put in my remix that I made at I'm no Superman, but you're an all-star. And that was the, originally the plan was to put it in this video somewhere, but I couldn't really find a place for it, so I, I just did this uh, this edited theme song bit instead. Yeah, and there's Ripto in there for like half a second. <laughs> no, no, I'm not Superman. So yeah, this is obviously a bit that comes later on in the YouTube poop, and it's previewed here. I just thought that that went really well with the because the theme song goes I'm no Superman and then this is just this one bit where Dr. Cox just says I'm not Superman and it's like it's nothing related to the theme song it's just a coincidence and it just happened to be in this episode that I was pooping and I thought that flows so nicely so I want to include that scene here but it also needs to be at the end so I came up with this whole idea of like I'll do a little bit of it here and then rewind and then we'll build that back to that point poorly mapped image of muffins and and I, I put the uh, the the women sign on that door that wasn't actually a bathroom in the original episode <laughs> you're at a hospital administration is right here oh yeah that oh <laughs> that's a great frame to pull it on um so for this video i did a lot of edits to the little transition music that happens in scrubs every so often i just took all the ones that were in this original episode and i just made edits to them and then i was like okay well in between every scene i'm just going to use one of these i i think i made about eight of them and i used seven where am i i don't really know where the idea for mario head being the patient in this episode came from I, I want to say the whole thing originated just because I needed a character to say where am I so that JD could respond with you're at a hospital. Oh yeah, and a lot of people like that, that I did the little, uh, the Super Mario Brothers theme in the uh, hospital monitor beeping there. Who can tell me anything about oh yeah, this was the first scene that I showed off. I think I showed it off in the last retrospective actually. And uh, I think the only thing that I changed from when I first previewed it was that uh, this text right here in the bottom left corner, I changed that to say ill old man. <laughs> because <laughs> I thought that was funny. Here's the bad news. This isn't real life. This is a TV show. There are cameras over here. Yeah, I made that a bit of a meta joke. I liked that in the original episode of Scrubs because <laughs> it's literally Dr. Cox saying, this isn't a TV show. There aren't cameras over here. And he like gestures towards where the camera actually would have been when they were filming it. Now I want you to suck it and then I'll give you your paycheck. Oh yeah, and there's, <laughs> there's a germa face here. I think I added that in quite late. I think it's because I, they did the bit later on where it's like, Kelso's the one being sus. Because her husband is orange. <laughs> yeah, and th this is definitely one of the first jokes that I thought of, the, the Donald Trump joke. And I used the, the mugshot. In fact, I think I edited it to make it more orange. <laughs> but yeah, that was one of the first things I thought of when I rewatched this one episode, because I thought, well, this is the episode that I want to make a YouTube poop of. I'm not exactly sure why I picked this specific episode. But it, it worked. A lot of things just fell nicely in, into place here. I mean, I did use a little, a few little clips later on from other episodes, but, you know, for the most part, it is this one episode, which I think is, I want to say it's season six. One of the first few episodes of season six, I believe it's called My House. I wasn't fast enough! I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't! <sighs> oh yeah, and this was just one of those scenes where I just, I did not have any plan for this. I didn't, like, write this bit into the script or anything like that. Because I still do scripts every now and then. 
They're a lot more bare bones than they used to be. I don't plan every single thing out now. But, you know, I like to write down my ideas. Um, but then sometimes I do just bits like this where I just like, okay, I'm just going to load the episode into the editor and I'm just going to cut and split and reverse and see what funny things I can do. This was one of those scenes. Hey, is that Neil Flynn? Oh yeah. And then there we go. It's all come full circle there. That is a clip from my first Ratchet and Clank video. I've never played Ratchet and Clank. What's this? I got some great bargains for you today. Is that Neil Flynn? Uh, I'm you. I'm talking to you from a future phone. So I thought, okay, well, I'm doing a YouTube poop of scrubs. Let's just include that clip, and then we'll put in the, the vendor guy from Ratchet and Clank in there. I invented a machine that invents machines. That's already been invented. <laughs> I love that. That's so stupid, but I love it. It's just one frame, and he just makes this dopey noise that doesn't match up to, to him at all. And I just, I, I really wanted to do that because it just seemed really funny. Oh yeah, and that's a callback to, what was it? It was my Peterman 1 entry, I think. It was Slimus and points at things. And thankfully, that was very easy to crop out because it's mirrored. So I literally, not only is it mirrored, but it's it's like sussed. And that's the best way I can think of to describe when you do that effect. It's like sussing things. There must be another term that people use when you like... I've always just called that sussing things. <laughs> I don't know if people have other terms for that. But yeah, that's 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 what that is. So it was literally only a few frames that I had to cut out. And it was only half of the frames anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, and that, that actually is the Hotel Mario Bowser's laugh. Slowed down, obviously. Um, I think I took that from Jimmy Davis's YouTube poop of the Super Mario Brothers movie trailer. Because he had an isolated version of that Bowser laugh. Which, at the time, when I made this... That didn't exist, and now it does, which is crazy, because the, the beta had been found, and then we got, like, isolated voice clips of a load of the Hotel Mario cutscenes. <laughs> it was just so crazy. Okay, we have a one-year-old male who is as game as my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That might be my favorite quote from this whole video. There is no other scenario where anyone would ever say that. Yellow, blue, red, green, orange. This was a really complicated edit to do, actually, because... I, I think I just took this from a Let's Play that I found on YouTube. And I had to find one where the player was standing really still. Then I had to take screenshots of it going through each of the colors. But I had to, like, I had to adjust the color of the background because it was lit up by the screens. And so I, I think what I had to do is I had to cut out the two hands and these four buttons separately. Then I had to cut down, out the background without each of these individual little screens. <laughs> and then put all these clips of Dr. Cox and then matched up the colors. And then added the hands and the buttons back in over the top of that. And slightly adjusted the colors so that they would uh, match accordingly. It was way more complicated than it should have been. Oh, oh, oh. Kudos, Keith, on finally coming. See, one, one of the benefits of having watched the entirety of Scrubs before making this is that I knew where good voice clips from characters were. Like, I needed a, a clip of Dr. Cox saying coming, and so I thought, oh, I know when he says that. The only thing worse than not knowing why a patient is crashing is being offered help by crashing. Yeah! Yeah, that's one of my favorite jokes in the video as well, and then that comes back a bit later on. You love spaghetti. You had some just last night. Oh yeah, this was the last minute bit, this spaghetti bit. There was a little scene earlier with Jack, which is the, the little boy when he's talking to Dr. Kelso, um, and he says, your skin is wrinkly, and I was like, I kind of want to do something with that, and so I looked up on YouTube a compilation of all the scenes that Jack is in, and then there was just this one scene where Dr. Cox was talking to him, and he says, you love spaghetti, and I just thought, oh, I gotta use that, I gotta use that for something, and so I just made this scene. Hi. We're getting a little old to be having sex. Okay, this line, somebody already did this, which I was so annoyed about, because I specifically looked around YouTube for Scrubs YouTube poops. And there surprisingly is quite a fair amount of them, actually. They're, they're all pretty old, but I did find a lot of them, and none of them did this same episode. Except this clip is not from the, the same episode that the rest of this YouTube poop is. <laughs> this is from a completely different episode, and this episode was pooped by Mr. Roland, I think. Who did that exact same sentence mix? <laughs> We're getting a little old to be having sex. I think this scene, this uh, that line did get a big laugh from, who was it? It was a, some, some reaction guy. What's his name? Billy Bob something. We're getting a little old to be having sex. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man. I think that was the only thing in this entire YouTube poop that actually made him laugh, so that's fine. Oh, and while I was looking through old uh, YouTube poops of Scrubs, I found a really funny clip from a YouTube poop by Gumby that I've got to show you here because... <laughs> 
<laughs> it made me laugh so much. Awesome ceiling fan. Check out the hand skills. <laughs> Turn it up. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's so great when you find classic YouTube poops that are still funny. Let's just dance, baby. Mm -hmm. Right, so yeah, the YTPMV, this is Train Rush from A Hat in Time, this song. Which I've been wanting to make a YouTube poop music video for a long time. Because I learned how to play this song, I can actually play this on a piano. But I, I've always thought like, oh, this would be perfect for a YTPMV. And so I just did it here. Yeah, and, and I included a few clips in the background of just like characters dancing. I got the Turk Fortnite dance in there as well. I had to use that as much as I could throughout this YouTube poop. Acapella music is how to put this delicately. And some of you will have seen that before. That I made that clip a few years ago, actually. I think, um, and I posted it on Twitter. It was in one of my Twitter compilations. I'm pretty sure. But I thought, you know, I can repurpose that in, and you know, because it's from Scrubs, this would be a good place to do it. The only thing worse than being offered help by Crash is being offered help by Banjo. Uh -huh. This scene, I was originally, it was just going to be, the only thing worse than not knowing why a patient is crashing is being offered help by Crash. And then the second time would be, the only thing worse than not knowing why a patient is crashing is being offered help by Banjo. And then I thought, wait a minute, the second time it should be... I, I should change it so it's the only thing worse than being offered help by Crash is being offered help by Banjo, and that was so much better. And I think what I did is rather than just redo this whole scene again, I think I just went back into the editor and I literally just replaced Crash with Banjo and then saved that and then brought that back in, which means that this is a, a video file that exists on my computer right now. <laughs> the only thing worse than not knowing why a patient is crashing is being offered help by crashing. Yay! <laughs> Which is just really funny if you if you have no context. You usually have to go to a Van Gogh convention to see art of this quality. Gotta confess though, I cheated a little bit. I used a machine. Oh. All right. Let me talk about this a little bit. Um, not really about the statement that's on screen. I mean, that's kind of speaks for itself. I, I went back and forth as to what I was going to have actually on the wall that the janitor was quote-unquote painting. And I thought, okay, why don't I just like actually make an AI-generated image? And then I thought, wait, no, isn't that kind of hypocritical to then like, because I'm literally just saying AI art is not real art, and then I'm actually using AI to make the image. And then I thought, okay, well, to circumvent that, how about I do something a bit more clever, where what about if I commission a real artist to make something that looks like AI but isn't. And then I thought, oh wait, no, that's gonna backfire because people are gonna look at it and think it's AI. <laughs> and so, and it's just, it's just gonna get complicated and out of hand. And I thought, okay, fine. I'll just find an existing AI image. How about that? And uh, I eventually came across this Twitter page that uh, has a load of these AI generated images of Superman and Supergirl, which is very weird once you realize that th those two are cousins. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's what I ended up using here. I didn't mean it to, but it actually kind of fits in with the whole the I'm no Superman thing, which is, which is, that's a coincidence. It's not really anything more than that. But yeah, okay. Shall I just very briefly talk about AI art? Um, it's bad. <laughs> For the end of discussion. No, um, when it comes to AI, I think AI is good as a tool for creators to use to, uh, you know, make things easier or, or maybe to do some specific things that would be really complicated for somebody to do otherwise. You know, it's not a black and white thing like all AI is bad, but I think when AI is just the thing that makes the product, then that's when it's a bit of a problem. When it's, when it's, you know, especially when it comes to art, because AI art, you literally steals existing art and meshes it all together and then pumps out some ridiculous thing that isn't even very good most of the time. <laughs> so I think in that sense, yeah, AI isn't good, but I don't think it's a general blanket statement. You can say that all AI is bad. For, for example, I think I used an AI tool for this exact scene. I think I used um, the website Unscreen to kind of cut out the janitor a little bit there. But, you know, strictly speaking, that's AI. And, you know, sometimes I use, like, uh, vocal remover programs, which that's also AI. AI tools that make things a bit easier for creators, that's fine. But it shouldn't be used as the thing that just pumps out the creation and you didn't really put much effort into it, you know. that That's essentially what I'm trying to say, I suppose. I might have worded that really badly. We'll just leave it there. 
End of discussion about AI. Well, for now, I might bring it up a bit later on. Oh, no, I see. Yeah, I love that. That... <laughs> <laughs> I think that idea just came because I was just, I was just listening to that song, which I think is, is Trouble by Coldplay. And I literally thought that that's what he said. And I was like, wait, that, those can't be the lyrics. So I looked up the lyrics. I was like, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> but I thought, oh, that would be so funny if I just put that in a YouTube booth or something and just had those captions. Oh, yeah, and here's where the Muffin Factory joke gets paid off. <laughs> no, because I work at the Muffin Factory. And then, I, yeah, I wanted to do something with this muffin puppet bit because this is one of my favorite jokes from the entire show. And so I just wanted to include that in here. <laughs> I understand that you are confused as to why Barbie has private parts. I have a vagina. Oh, yeah, that was quite a last minute thing, actually. I, I haven't seen the Barbie movie, but I saw that clip uh, posted on Twitter. For context in the show, when Dr. Cox says Barbie, he's referring to Elliot because that's what he calls her. But I thought, you know, if you don't know that, then it, it may make sense that he's talking about, you know, actual Barbie. Um, and I did edit that a little bit. I think, well, obviously I, I changed it to I don't have a vagina to I have a vagina. And I think I switched the two vers around. The ver in have a and the ver in vagina. I switched those two around. So it was just a tiny little edit so that it still makes sense. I, you know, I talked about this in the last retrospective, actually. I like to do sentence mixes where it's literally the same sentence, but I've still edited it somehow. <laughs> Kelso's the one being sus. Oh yeah, and this is what I was talking about earlier, when I was trying to think of something else for to do with Jack here, saying your skin is wrinkly, because um, I didn't want to just do the same clip again that I did earlier. And so what I did is I just sped it up, and then I was like, okay, I'll just like repeat this a few times over, and then I was like, this kind of sounds like when Animal Crossing characters talk. That's what it sounds like, and I thought, oh, okay, that's the joke then, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> well, that shirt you're wearing is nice. Oh, yeah, and then <laughs> in this one we have Tigger doing the Fortnite dance. Which, uh, thankfully, I'd already green screened. Tuckasupo cardiomyopathy, also known as succomyopathy, also known as broken wind syndrome, is one of... I really do like this end scene. This is probably the, a, a, a good, like, closer to the video. Because it sort of brings back a lot of the jokes from earlier in the YouTube poop. And sort of repurposes them for Dr. Cox's monologue here. And... No, I'm... I'm not Superman. And then here's the, uh, the scene from the start of the video, obviously. It's been one of those days. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was changed. In the original scene, Ted says, I've been hit, and I did do that the first time. And I thought this time maybe I'll just sentence mix him to say, like, shit, or something like that. And I tried that, and it didn't come out very well. And so I thought, uh, I'll uh, maybe I could do something else. And then I thought, what if I he just goes with my leg, even though he was clearly shot in the head? <laughs> and it was surprisingly difficult to find an isolated version of the my leg sound effect. I sort of Frankenstein together a, 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 a version that kind of is a bit isolated from a load of different clips from Spongebob. So this is what I came up with. My leg! That's probably like the cleanest I can get. <laughs> and then I had this uh, credits bit with actual images from the YouTube poop. And then look, look, JD, he did learn to play the banjo. With banjo. That was scrubbed. Um, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that YouTube poop. I think I was originally planning for it to be one of my longer ones that would be like over 12 minutes, but it's only about seven and a half. But still, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with that. And it, it helped a lot that I had, before making that, I'd literally re-watched the entire show because I got the complete box set and I watched all of it, including season nine. And uh, it reminded me how good of a show Scrubs really is. Maybe excluding season nine. <laughs> All right, so now we'll do Night of the Egg Rolls. This was my uh, entry to the Steam Lords Treehouse of Horror 4 collab. It's in, in fact, it's still going on right now because um, it's eight parts and we're up to part six so far. Seven and eight haven't even aired yet at the time of me recording this. And this was for part two, I think, which was the, uh, the Night of the Dolphins segment. So yeah, let's get in and watch this. It begins. The Dolphins. No, 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 the dogs are upon us. Yeah, I think a lot of people did an Among Us joke there, but <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah, this Take On Me remix, I'd actually made this already. I didn't make this for the YouTube poop. I made this a while ago, and I, I think I just saved it under my desktop, and I called it Give Off You. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, I could just use that in this YouTube poop and just make a little montage with the dolphins. <gasps> Dolphin sex. What the fuck? I love how well that synced in with Under the Sea. I was really not expecting that. 
Like that is literally on those last two notes of Under the Sea. It just fit. Hey, and this bit was Lisa. This bit was Lisa. <laughs> this bit was Lisa. I didn't make this. I am so happy with this. This is quite possibly one of my favorite ever edits that I've done in the entire nearly 10 years that I've been doing YouTube poops. This made me crack up so much and I'm so happy with how it looks. Mm. Yeah, and this Lenny is from an animation by uh, Speed Oru, which is called Hey Homer. So yeah, check that out if you haven't already. A lot of you have probably already seen it. It's quite popular. <laughs> Alcohol and egg rolls. Okay. Egg rolls. <laughs> um, there actually is a little bit of backstory to the egg rolls thing. If you don't know, the egg rolls thing comes from the Simpsons game. It's Kang and Kodos, and they're just yelling revenge egg rolls and stuff over and over again. It's very funny. Anyway, quite a while back, I had planned to make a Simpsons game YouTube poop, and I never finished it. And one of the things that I was going to do was something with that egg rolls stuff, and I was going to make that a bit of a recurring joke throughout the, the YouTube poop, maybe. I don't know. There was another thing that I was going to do in that Simpsons game YouTube poop that I actually ended up repurposing and putting in the Foul House episode 5, which was the bit where Martin gets hit by the car. Oh my god, I really do make characters get hit by cars all the time, don't I? <laughs> But anyway, this collab came around, the Steam Lawn invited me to the collab, and there was like a list of Treehouse of Horror segments that I could have done. In fact, I could have done more than one. I know a few people did do more than one. Um, but I chose to do Night of the Dolphin, and I think I picked that because there is a level in the Simpsons game that is based on that Treehouse of Horror segment. It's called Day of the Dolphin. And I thought, oh, maybe I could use something from the Simpsons game in this YouTube poop. And it just so happens that that egg rolls cutscene is part of that level. <laughs> and so I thought, oh, this is perfect. I can do the egg rolls thing. You wouldn't necessarily know the connection unless you've played the Simpsons game. I didn't end up using anything else from the level that's actually related to the dolphins, but just the one bit with Kang and Kodos. And it, and it worked so well because there's actually a Kang and Kodos bit at the end of this Treehouse of Horror segment. So I, I used it there too. And it just all came together really nicely. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is this is how it's going to go down. This is great. But yeah, I never ended up actually uh, finishing the Simpsons game YouTube poop, but I did make some of it. So, you know what? As a, as a nice little treat, as a, as a, like a retrospective exclusive, here is what I made from that Simpsons game YouTube poop. Excuse me, Fetty. You're Fetty. Hey, you like that rabbit from that book about a rabbit. What was it called? Oh, yeah. Stupid rabbit book. For your information, I'm not real. <laughs> what? So it's Paul. It's life sauce. All I want is the ability to eat ass. The Simpsons game. Hmm. This is so gay. Whoa. I'm gay. Hey, boy. I was planning on coming my drawers while reading swimsuit magazines. Want to come with? Dad, I'm gay now. Well, that's cool, I guess. I have decided to ban flip flops. <laughs> Mom, isn't it a little bit hypocritical that you use hippos to get critical? What? Yeah, that's literally it. <laughs> it's not very much. That's literally all I uh, all I did before I decided to give up on it. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll upload that as its own video sometime. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, that's the origin of the egg rolls thing. And I'm really happy that a lot of people like that. To, to, to the point where the egg rolls thing has actually now become a recurring gag in each of the parts of this collab. Even though my entry was just in part two. They've kept the egg roll thing going. There's at least one egg roll in every part since part two, which is really funny. It is very flattering. The Godfather insists upon it. It insists itself. upon it. It insists upon it. So I can tell you what my original idea for this was. It's really, it's really cringy, and <laughs> I'm so glad that I changed my mind on it. Basically, what I was originally going to do was it was going to be me, like N.P. Carlson, the, you know, the strangler, who was going to come up from the from the water. And try to get. I think what I was going to do is when it's the shot of Lenny under the water, I was going to have like the Strangler's diabolical hands come into screen, and then he would say something like, "I finally got you all alone." And then the hands would like come up from the water, and Lenny would say, "Uh oh, Carlson," <laughs> because there's that one clip of Lenny saying "Carl Carlson," and so that was what I was going to use there. I am so glad that I changed it to this because I really don't like doing those kind of self-indulgent jokes. 
anymore. I used to do them quite a bit. In fact, like in Five Nights at Foster's, I did them. Um, like M.P. Carlson does appear briefly in Mash Bandicoot, which I, I think that one's fine because, it, you know, it's a story and he's only in that one scene. He doesn't really do much. But yeah, I don't really like doing those self-indulgent jokes anymore where I reference myself. It seems a bit egotistical. And so I'm glad I changed it to this Family Guy bit. I just saw this clip on Twitter as well, and I thought, oh, yeah, I'll just uh, edit that in, and it can just be a load of Peter Griffins going, the Godfather insists upon itself surrounding Lenny. <laughs> the Godfather hey, insists the upon... <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the poof. The sound effect is from Aladdin, but the animation, that's from Fairly Odd Parents. I painstakingly, frame by frame, recreated that effect so that I could put it in here. It looks pretty good. Flip, flip. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I put an egg roll in Eleni's eye here. No one has made the comment yet. <laughs> I've been waiting. That is right there, and no one's done it yet. Oh yeah, and this was just a little bit that I, I realized the animation of like the dolphins marching in the background was exactly one second long. It was on a loop, so I just <laughs> made that into a loop, and then this one dolphin just gets slapped over and over again. Cheese and a party-sized bucket of egg rolls. Egg rolls. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Oh, yeah, and I think I took that from um the things all I want a beer because I couldn't find the original. Oh yeah, and I edited this sign as well. It says Krusty Krab. And if you look in the bottom right here, just above where it says MP Carlson, there's a picture of egg rolls. <laughs> oh my god! I've got to stop making characters get hit by cars. Why do I keep doing that? Yeah, I feel like, because dolphins are really intelligent, right? Yeah, yeah. Dolphins are capable of evil. Okay, so yeah, this is this audio is from Born Losers Gaming, which are a really funny YouTube uh, gaming channel that I found quite a while ago. I think I found them when they started playing Crash 4, and I've been watching them ever since. Very funny YouTube channel, you should definitely go check them out. Ian? What? Can we pull... Yeah, yes? What? Can we just... What? Oh, what is yeah, happening? I what is happening over the, here? The switch restarted, and then it... Why are all of the Five Nights I games don't open? Know. I do not know. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a Nesquik. You it, just it... take the label off. What are you no, talking I know. about? Why did you take the label off? I take the label off of everything. Did your friends used to tell you you were sexually frustrated? Ian! Ian, what the fuck are you doing? There's no shot you are chugging my entire nest quick! But yeah, there was just this one part in when they were playing Mario Wonder where they were saying um, dolphins being evil and stuff like that. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll just put that in there. I mean, it's not, it's just a reference. That's what it is. It's not a joke. It's a reference. And I was going back and forth as to whether or not to actually do it. Because in the original episode, it's a shot of the Simpsons family sat down in the crowd. And then you hear Groundskeeper Willie cleaning the windows, that squeaking noise. You hear it like off to the right. It's like panned to the right. And I couldn't do that here because I couldn't just cut from this shot of Marge standing up immediately to her sat down again. And so what I did is I actually changed it. So right here, it goes back to Mayor Quimby and then the squeaking sound is panned to the left. <laughs> so that was how I got around that. So I, I was like, maybe it would be a lot e easier if I just didn't do the Born Losers gaming bit. But I'm glad that I settled on actually doing it. And a few people have commented and they're like, wow, I wasn't expecting to hear Born Losers gaming in a YouTube booth. And so, yeah, it's nice that uh, people know who they are. Yeah, these definitely go watch them. Ugh, I'm bad at this. Oh yeah, and cutting out Willie's face there. He, his head moves about so much in that scene where he says, oh, I'm bad at this. And to, to not only have to cut out every single frame, but to have to then put it back like almost in exactly the same position each time. It took a while. I wasn't the only one who did that joke as well. Um, not to toot my own horn, but I think mine was a little better edited. Sorry. <laughs> Did he just say, I... Okay, yeah, this edit took a long time. Because originally it's Carl, and I replaced Carl with the sea captain. Um, so that involved not only cutting out the sea captain's head and then the lip syncing it, but it also meant that I had to cut out Mo because he, like, moves in front of him. And then the camera zooms in on Mo when he goes, wah! And so I had to cut that out as well and keep the sea captain in exactly the same position as the camera zooming in. It was very complicated. Um, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Funny thing is, <laughs> I changed the head, right? I replaced Carl's head with the sea captain's head. I didn't change the body. I just changed the colors because it turns out that they have very similar clothing, just in different colors. I think Carl wears a pink shirt with a sort of light blue gray jacket. And the sea captain here obviously wears a green shirt with a dark blue jacket. So I literally just changed the colors. I think I also made him a little bit wider, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just that just fit very nicely. Wake up every morning, feeling like King Snorky. Get my egg rolls. Egg rolls. 
Oh yeah, and I, a lot of people like that that bit, that that catcher joke. Slinkies, egg rolls, and you chewed poop. Four skin. Sorry, I'm just watching it now, aren't I? There's not really much to say here. <laughs> yes. That Skinner animation I'd already had cut out because I used that in Steam Times Inc. See, this is why I save all my stuff. I back up all the files. I like I've got I've got so many files from old videos just saved because you never know when you're gonna want to use them again. Oh yeah, and I really like the Kent Brockman where his face sags. How did I do? I can't remember how I did that. I'm gonna go through it frame by frame. Hang on. So yeah, I think I think what I did is I made a couple like transition frames. Like there, it sort of starts to to morph into it. Like the position of his nose kind of moves and his hair kind of changes a little bit. But yeah, when you just watch it, it looks convincing. Can you believe Kodos? Yeah, and gotta get a Belial joke in there. In fact, I think all three of these YouTube boops in this retrospective have a Belial joke in there. Two donut buckets and a crusty sized bucket of cheese. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that. They just work perfectly because it's just like, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. So yeah, that that's Night of the Egg Rolls. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. A lot of people really like that. I'm glad I entered the collab. And it was fun making a YouTube poop of The Simpsons. I don't think I've... Uh, no, I have done that before. I think I did ages ago. I made that one short little YTP with the uh, McBain Let's Get Silly bit. I did some little YouTube poop of that. It's always fun making YouTube poops of animated shows because you can do a lot of fun edits with animated stuff. But yeah, I'm happy with that entry. The collab is really great. I've, I've been watching each of the new parts as they've come out. Uh, you know, everyone's doing really good on that. And y uh, if you haven't watched any of it, you should definitely watch. I mean, they're, they are really long, <laughs> but they're worth a watch. Okay, and then finally we will move on to CS lost $88 in ad revenue. And, uh, yeah, obviously the joke in the title there is, instead of CS188, it's CS Lost 88. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this was my entry to CS188's, uh, collab last year. Oh, no, it came out this year, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, when he announced this collab, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll join that. That'd be great. And then I thought about it, and I was like, hang on a sec. This is CS188. One of, if not the most widely known popular YouTube pooper who's still around at the moment. A lot of people are going to be joining this. For a while I thought, if I make an entry for this, I've got to do something that no one else will do. I've got to like make something that will stand out. Because otherwise my entry is just going to blend in with everyone else's. And so for a while I was uh, putting it off and I was like, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do for this. Do I want to do some kind of elaborate story or something? Do I want to like take CS188 and like put him in a completely different context, background setting or something like that? I don't know what I want to do. And eventually I was like, why do I need it to stand out? Why do I need it to be unique? I can just make something fun. And I think that that will probably just be better for everyone <laughs> if I do that. So I, and then I rewatched the announcement video and he said that, uh, he'd preferably want the entries to be like around a minute or so. And I thought, oh, okay, fine. Yeah. You know what? I'll just make something really simple and just, you know, I'm not exactly going to like put my best creative foot forward for this. I'll just make something fun. I'll just make something that I think is funny and hopefully other people will find funny too. So yeah, let's get in and watch this. Hello, internet fascists. But yeah, and that was a, a callback to Premature, which, you know, you wouldn't get unless you were a fan of my videos, but, you know, it's still a funny line. I am high right now. Yeah, and obviously a lot of people did a joke similar to that about him being high. And so <laughs> that's why I did this kind of subversion. Around 2006. In 2006, I started creating... So yeah, I suppose there was this aspect of, of this YouTube poop, the kind of like weird meta thing where CS188 is kind of watching a YouTube poop of himself and sort of commenting on it. And then like a bit later on, it zooms out and there's, there's a third one and he's like, CS188 is literally arguing with himself. <laughs> so there was that aspect, that kind of meta part to it, but that was as far as I went, really. What? This sentence right here is literally sentence mixed. I, do, I like that. I'm pretty happy with that line. Like, I'm, I'm surprised no one else did something similar to that. And if you want to get even in a week, and, 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 and I oftentimes spend 40 hours masturbating. I wanted to see how much C meant I could squeeze out of such a little cock. Oh yeah, no, I, I definitely wasn't the only one to, uh, to make a joke similar to this. You know, I wonder... When CS was making the uh, appeal video, like, see, it, well, he's not going to be watching this. Well, it, <laughs> CS, if by any chance you are watching this, I've got to know, when you made the appeal video, 
Did you purposely say things that would be so easy to change into something provocative? Did you know you were going to be making this collab at the time when you made that appeal video? <laughs> because it does seem like it. Here's a video game I released in 2030 called USAI. Oh uh, yeah, USAI. <laughs> kind of going back to what I was talking about earlier on in this video about AI. Technically, I did use AI to make this cover. The, uh, the, the robot in front of the American flag, that's an AI-generated image. <laughs> I, I will confess that. I guess um, my justification for this is that it's, it's, it's a joke about AI. So, whatever. Anyway, I, I put together the box art, and I made it PlayStation 6, because he says it, it, it was released in 2030. And I thought, well, probably be on the PlayStation 6 by then. In the summer, well, as an end result, it serves as a present. Oh yeah, and I think that is the exact same, no, I know that is the exact same present image that I used all the way back in uh, Milk and Har Milk and <laughs> Mike and Haruki's Milky Crusade. My entry for that is literally just the exact same image. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, keep assets. I mean, they take up a lot of space, I know, but like, get yourself some external hard drive. Keep your assets from your videos, because you never know when you're going to want to use them again. And I take great pride in that. I think CS did change around the order of that bit. I think he, he put that little bit where I edited his face. He put that a bit earlier. But yeah, a very short video, I know. But I think it was fine. There were a lot of really good entries in that collab. Um, I'm glad that mine was uh, one of them. I mean, I'm glad that mine was one of the entries. Not, my, not that mine was one of the good entries. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I just meant I'm glad that I entered the collab. So yeah, we're, we're done with that. That's another retrospective in the bag. In terms of future YouTube poops, there will be some more this year, I'm sure. I have one in mind, uh, by which I mean I looked at something and I thought that, that might make a good source. <laughs> Obviously there's the 10 year anniversary coming in August, so I will probably have the Q&A announcement video up in early April. So you can leave all your questions there and then I'll record the Q&A in the months preceding. And uh, yeah, much more to come as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like with the previous retrospectives, if you have any further questions regarding the three YouTube poops that I covered in this video, leave them in the comments, I will be sure to get to them. Uh, click here to watch the previous retrospective or the next retrospective, should it be out by the time you're watching this. Uh, so yeah, bye-bye uh, everybody. And remember, uh, don't use AI except sometimes. Save your assets from previous videos and uh, egg rolls! <laughs> <laughs>